Oh, Vsauce, I'm Jake, and after watching the movie The BFG, I decided that I wanted to be a giant, naturally, so I created this makeshift lab to make a potion that'll do just that. But before we begin, let's find out some facts about what would actually happen if you were a giant. The BFG is 24 feet tall, taller than a T-Rex. However, we can't just scale a normal person up by a factor of four due to the square cube law, which states, you know, actually I made a graph. Side note, I have a lab now, so I'm into things like graphs and Bunsen burners. And as you can see in this graph, as our mass increases from a factor of zero to a factor of four, our muscles and bones and organs don't strengthen concurrently. So your legs wouldn't be able to support the weight of the rest of your body, and that wouldn't be great for your enthusiasm for living. We can see this to a degree with someone who we've talked about before, the eight foot 11 inch tall Robert Wadlow, who needed leg braces and a cane to walk. So the square cube law is a little bit of a problem for my giant plans, but what if we were to keep our same weight, a fixed weight, but our atoms are stretched apart? In this scenario, even though your mass is the same, your density would be about 15.4 kilograms per cubic meter, 64 times less than the density of an average human being. Some interesting things would happen if this were the case. First, you would kind of float through life since your density is only 12 and a half times that of air. Now, this all sounds well and good, but you'd have to be careful of your new arch enemy, the wind. Let's take a look at the Beaufort wind scale. One meter per second is equal to 1.9 knots, which is classified as light air. What we need to be worried about is wind speeds at 10 meters per second or higher, which would bring us to 19 knots, a fresh breeze, when small trees with leaves begin to sway. That would be enough to whisk you off. Okay, let's scrap that idea and say that our giant self could defy the square cube law and wouldn't buckle under our new weight, which, how much? would you weigh? Well, around 4.5 metric tons, about the same as an elephant or six cows. And you'd have to be careful when walking because although you'd be fine on most surfaces, you would sink in soil. Speaking of walking and movement, you'd assume that now that you're bigger, you'd move faster. Sadly, Earth's gravitational acceleration doesn't scale up with you, so it takes longer for gravity to allow your body parts to fall. Using the Froud number, we can calculate that your rate of motion would be half that of a normal sized human, or an NSH. Meaning you'd walk at 6.2 miles per hour, which is double than an NSH would, but you'd be taking longer to accelerate. And that's not the only thing that'd be slower. Since you're so much taller, the electrical signals to and from your brain have a much larger distance to travel, but velocity factor, the speed of electricity, stays the same at about 270 miles per hour. So you'd be four times slower at reacting. Think one second instead of a quarter second. If you're a giant, you're probably still thinking because you'd be slower at that too, but at least you'd be stronger, right? Well, yes and no. Your absolute strength would increase by a factor of 16, meaning you'd be able to bench 14 NSHs or one cow. But because of the square cube law, your strength to weight ratio has actually gone down four times. So while your strength would be impressive, it wouldn't be as strong as you'd expect. Add to that that you probably shouldn't be doing too much exercise since your heart rate would be 29% of normal, about 23 beats per minute, down from the average 80. And you really need this puppy to keep the massive amounts of blood circulating and uh, pumping. Ooh. But let's talk about the positives here. Firstly, you'd have a pretty deep voice. The resonant cavity in your throat is now larger, but the sound speed hasn't changed, so your pitch would go down by a factor of four between 21 and 45 hertz, which sounds like this. The second positive is that according to Kleber's law, how a metabolic rate scales, your metabolic rate is now 22.6 times greater than normal. Now, why is this a positive? Because this means I need 22 extra orders of tacos whenever I eat. And if that isn't reason enough to be a giant, then I don't know what is. And we are just in time because my formula is a finished. Now it'll either make me a giant or make me explode, but you know what they say, go big or go home in lots of 
pieces. Let's give it a go. Mmm. Oh, you can immediately feel it. It feels good. All right, well, I'm gonna do this, and as always, thanks for watching. Oh, hello there. I didn't know that you were still here, but I'm glad that you are because I would like to give a very special shout out to Disney and the movie The BFG for supporting Vsauce and also this episode. The movie The BFG is actually really fantastic. I would definitely recommend checking it out. All right, uh, Papa's gonna get back to drinking his feel-good juice, but uh, you know, I'll, I'll see you later.